Hi, Carolyn Doobie here. Today I am playing with a stencil called Words to Live By. Really like the stencil, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm going to be using an index card for this, especially ones that like have smudges on them, because I'm going to be covering it up and nobody will know that smudge is there but you and me. Taking some oil pastels here and randomly placing color on this. I'm not really thinking about this. I know you're shocked that I'm not thinking about where I'm placing color. I'm just going for the colors that I like, and you can definitely tell by looking at that set of oil pastels which colors I tend to use the most. <laughs> I am just filling in the whole thing with color. I want the whole thing covered in. And I, you know, I could do this all in one color. I could do it in lots of colors. Really, the sky's the limit for how you want to do it. Obviously, I'm going to go for the bright rainbow colors because I'm addicted to them. So why did I choose an index card size to work on? Well, that's thanks to Tammy over at Daisy Yellow because seeing all the things that she's doing with her index card a day and all the things that other people are making, many of them linked up to the Colorful Jelly Print Party, which is how I found a lot of them. And, I, you know, I absolutely love the idea. So I thought, hey, I'll play too. And I have to say, she's right. Index cards are an awesome thing to work on. So now it's time to bring the stencil in. And this one is again called Words to Live By. And I'm positioning this so that I get certain words on there that I want. I really wanted joy and uh, connect to be on there. So now all I'm doing is stippling over it, pouncing on some black acrylic paint over the words. These words are all words that have meaning to me. Words that I find uplifting, encouraging, the kinds of words that empower. And the reason why I really like all the words on this one is because this is a stencil that I've designed for over at Stencil Girl Products. One of the nice things about this stencil is you have so many words to pick from. So here's what it looks like when I've lifted the stencil up and it's hard to tell on this background so I'm just gonna slide it onto a piece of white paper here so you can see how those colors pop with the words. Well now there's another way you can color your index card. This time I'm gonna do stripes of color that about line up to the size of the words. Nothing's going to be perfect here, but I'm going to get it to about the right height. After picking the words that I want on the index card, I'm now lining up the index card next to those rows, drawing a line at the top of the first row of words, and then just really loosely coloring in that whole strip. I'm going to keep doing this all the way through for all the different colors this is going to give me a loose approximation of where each stripe of color will go to match each stripe of text. Now it's time to get the words positioned on top of the stripes of color. And I can use words on the side, I could use words in the middle, I could use words on the edge. I can really go anywhere on this stencil that I want to pick out the words that are most important to me. And rainbow is really drawing my eye right now. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> And so I've got Cherish up there, I've got Frolic, I've got Rainbow. So once I've got the words positioned where I wanted, then it's a matter of just going back and stippling right on top, just like we did for the other index card. Once you're sure you've got the black paint everywhere, you lift up your stencil, and then you've got the words all in different colors. I'm going to put this on some white paper just so you can really see how the colors pop on it. There it is with the strips of color, and there it is with the random. Well, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would share it, Facebook, Twitter, however you're comfortable. Supporting my art that way bribes my muse to get me right back into the studio and making more things that I can share with you here on YouTube and also on my blog. And of course, there are links down below in the description.